guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so in today's video I just want to talk about some urban baby essentials and before I do that yeah before I do that I would like to introduce myself my name is Jocelyn I live in Tokyo Japan with my husband and my nine and a half month old baby so I've had about nine and a half months to figure out exactly what you really need as an urban mom so these are just a few of the things that I think are really useful if you live in an urban environment like I do. So if you're interested to find out what they are, please keep watching. And I have a very mobile baby now, so he's probably gonna be playing over here on the floor next to me and hopefully he's not making too much noise, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so my first urban baby essential is, hands down, a baby carrier. So if you do not have a car, which I do not, um, in Tokyo it's really not necessary to have a car. We use public transportation to get around pretty much all the time. So occasionally we will take a taxi, but the majority of the time we are taking the train or the subway. So because of that, a baby carrier is an absolute necessity. And the baby carrier that I have, I actually have three. <laughs> I use it so much, but the one that I use the most is the Ergo Baby 360. So in this version, you can hold the baby either facing you or facing out. And I think you can also do a hip carry with it and a back carry. I also have a ring sling from Pura Vida, which is a great company from Costa Rica. I use this quite a bit now as well, and I really like it. And the other carrier that I have is the Solly Baby Wrap, and I really like that one because it's very soft. I used it a lot when Asahi was very first born, and I found it really convenient for him when he was a very newborn. So I haven't been using it as much lately, but I do like the Ring Sling and I like the Ergo. They all serve different purposes. Yeah, so maybe I'll do a video comparing all three of those types of carriers because a lot of people have a lot of questions about what would be good. So my next Urban Baby Essential is a nursing cover. Now I know there's a lot of, people have a lot of opinions about whether or not to use a cover. Um, I personally occasionally don't use a cover and especially before I got this particular cover, I did not use a cover. Japan is also great because there's tons of nursing rooms that you can use, so you always have that privacy. But sometimes there's no nursing room where you are, or maybe you just can't be bothered to go find one, and it's really nice just to have a cover um, so you can nurse your baby whenever you need to. And the one that I really, really love is this one from Bell and Baby Shop, and they sell it on US Amazon, and actually, uh, I learned about it because it is a company started by Haley Page, who is a fellow YouTuber, not that I'm even a YouTuber, but is another YouTube mom, and they started this line of multi-use covers. So this works as a car seat cover, it works as a nursing cover, it works as a high chair and cart cover, which I use it for all the time when we go out to eat. And I think that's why I like it so much is because it's so multi-use, which is great because when you're carrying stuff around all day because you don't have a car to leave your diaper bag in, you are carrying that all the time. You need to have products that are multi-use. So this one, the reason that I like it so much is because I can actually just put it over my head and stretch it around myself and nurse. Okay, that's not a very good demonstration. I'll have it all the way around. I can stretch it around myself. It's super stretchy. Look how much it stretches. And I can nurse him and still have airflow. So it's super breathable. He can still see me. And I feel like I can adjust it much easier than the other one I have, which just has the strap around your neck and then it's sort of like an apron falls down. And honestly, I never got along with that one. He never liked it either, and this one he really, really loves. It's stretchy, he likes to pull on it and play with it. And this is their starry print. I'll make sure to link it below. Actually, I'll link everything below, and I'll try to find versions on Amazon Japan, because I know if you live in Japan, it can be really difficult to find the products that you really, really want. Um, so I'll try to link it, but I know that this one does have international shipping from US Amazon. So if you, I'm looking for a nursing cover. This is a great option. I didn't think I would like this style, but I really, really like it. And the other great thing is you can actually put it over a high chair when you go out to eat so that the baby's not actually touching the high chair um, because they can, be, they can just be gross, right? You need to make sure it's clean. 
So that is another great use for this as well. And of course it could be a blanket. It could be, you know, it's just a really great multi-use product. Okay, my next essential is a diaper bag. And you may be looking at this like, holy moly, how do you fit everything for your baby in this tiny bag? And you know what? I think to myself that same exact thing every single day when I use it. And so this is a little bag I bought at a local store in Ikebukuro and it's just from Converse, I think. And it's about this big, so it's not big at all. But you know what it can fit? The essentials, which is exactly what you need. So I've put my diapers and wipes in here, one change of clothes, my wallet, my sunglasses, a couple toys for Asahi, and maybe like a snack or two, and I still have room to spare. Maybe a muslin, something like that, and I still have room to spare. So I actually can fit quite a lot inside this. Now, I will say as a breastfeeding mom, I don't have to worry about bringing a bottle or bringing formula, and in that case, I would probably need to upgrade to something bigger. But the reason that I like something so small is when you are baby wearing, it can be really difficult to find out what bag works with a, when you're baby wearing all the time. And I love this because I can just hold it in my hand or I can just put it over my arm like this and I don't have to constantly be reaching around, pulling out, like from a backpack or I don't have to carry this big thing over my shoulder. I actually find it very convenient. So. I'll try to find this one as well to link below, but I really like this one. Something this size though, I think is really perfect if you can downsize as much as possible. Um, otherwise, a backpack of course is great as well. Um, a backpack works well when you're baby wearing. Uh, I also occasionally use a backpack if I need to take more stuff, like if we're going out for a longer period, like an entire day then usually I will bring a backpack versus that small bag. But if I'm going out for just a few hours, then that's pretty much all I need in that small bag. My next essential is something really simple as well, and, and it is a waterproof changing pad. So I have two of these. One goes in my little diaper bag and one stays at home. And the reason that I have this is because I don't have a changing table. I live in a tiny apartment. There's no space for a changing table. So since day one, I've used a waterproof changing pad and I've changed my baby either on the bed or on the floor and I've had zero problems. I have not had any accidents um, using this. Of course, we've had accidents on the mat, but not nothing off of the mat. So it's super convenient. It saves space, which is so important when you have a small apartment. You do not need a changing table. Okay, of course a lot of people use a dresser or whatever, but we actually don't even have a dresser in our apartment. So this is super convenient. And I'll link this one below. I did buy it on Amazon Japan. You can buy many similar ones on in other places. All right, so I have two more essentials for you. And the next one is a white noise machine. So a lot of people say that you need a white noise machine. It helps baby sleep, yada, yada, yada. And yes, I absolutely agree. But when you live in a small apartment, you absolutely need a white noise machine, <laughs> okay? The reason being that when baby goes to sleep, when they go down for their nap or they go to sleep at night, you most likely are not going to sleep at that time. So when you live in a two-story house, for example, you can put baby up in their room or in your room, wherever they sleep, and you can go downstairs and you can do the dishes, you can finish cleaning, you can watch your show, you can hang out with your family, or your husband or your partner or whoever, and you can talk and it's not a big deal, it won't wake up the baby. But when you live in a small apartment like I do, you can hear everything through the walls. So if you need to get anything done while baby is sleeping, you need something to help block out that outside noise. So the white noise machine is essential. And the one that I have has many different settings. You can switch the sound. It's not just white noise. We actually use the ocean sounds on it. And I turn it all the way up and it actually really helps my baby sleep. So I'll link the one that I have below. There's so many though. You can, I'm sure they're all great. Just look, on, just look on Amazon for the reviews. But white noise machine is essential for a small apartment. And the last thing that I have is a high chair. Now, of course, this is only an essential after your baby is about, after your baby is about six months old, but after six months, it does become an essential. And the one that I have to me is an essential because of one specific thing. And that is the fact that it folds 
up to be very narrow. And the reason that it is so important that it's so narrow is because, again, I don't have that much space. So I don't have room to just leave the high chair out fully. And that's the reason that I chose this high chair. The one that we have is the Baby Bjorn high chair. And it does fold up, the tray folds down, the legs come together, and it actually becomes about half the width of what it was when it's um, fully out. So that's the reason we went with the Baby Bjorn over the Stoke high chair. Um, we just don't have space for the Stoke. So if you're looking for a space-saving high chair, I highly recommend the Baby Bjorn. It's super easy to clean, which is really important because we do baby led weaning, so we need it to be easy to clean. Um, a lot of people like the Stoke one and it looked really great too, but for us, this was the most reasonable option. And it's also the reason we didn't go for that white high Ikea high chair that is so popular, is because it didn't fold up. So it wasn't really practical for our space. So, <laughs> so that's the reason we went for the Baby Bjorn. We really love it. Yeah, you wanna come over here. All right, so I think that's it for my Urban Baby Essentials. Of course, there are so many essentials for baby, but these are just, yeah. But these are just the ones that I thought were really essential if you, if you live in an urban environment. Um, if you have any other essentials, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear them. And if you are new, please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.